Hello friends, welcome back. Today we are going to understand REST API descriptor in web methods. It is a feature that helps document and describe the REST APIs exposed by the web method integration server. With REST API descriptor, you can automatically generate API documentation and even provide a test harness for developer to expose and test the API. And it can be used by various tools and frameworks to consume and interact with the API. So in this session, we will see how we can create the REST API descriptor. Go to your designer. Let's create a REST API descriptor. We'll create a new folder called RAD. And here we will select REST API descriptor. We'll give name as employee RAD. And here we are going to select the version as a swagger. We are providing the API and we are using the existing REST resource. Now we'll give title as same employee rad API version is this hmm. host name is this base path is this HTTP HTTP we'll, we can select both as well next and now we will select the employee resource and then finish. It will take some time. Hmm. So here, these are the general properties and here, this is the rest resource attached to this particular RAD. And here is the rest API, sorry, rest definitions. So for example, this is the request and then this request and response, all these things. And here you can also provide the REST security. So let's say if you want to provide the basic auth, then you can give the name here, your basic authentication, and that we can see in later session. And then here the important thing is the Swagger. It automatically generates the Swagger file for us so that we can, so, this Swagger file can be, we can share this, this Swagger file to the developers or we can create the API specification by using this particular Swagger file. Now we'll test our API from Postman. So we'll copy the host name, host name and port name. Okay, and slash, we are going to use rad and then we are going to use the API like get employee. We'll use this get operation parameter name query parameter. This is a query parameter. So we have to give question mark ID equals to let's say one and we'll use this as so x is exception so we have to provide this because we are trying to we are trying to hit the integration server so now here you can see some result is coming but it's in html format let's Convert it into JSON. Yes. So here you can see that our REST API descriptor is working fine. So whenever, let's say in API gateway, we want to create the API specification. So at that time, what we can do, we can simply share this particular Swagger with the API team, API team, and they can consume this particular Swagger and creates the API specification in API gateway. 
so i hope you understand the point of rad so if you have any doubt or comment or query then please do let me know in the comment section and if you like the video then please do like share and subscribe thank you so much